Shalom, I'm Lars Jennerson with the Watchman International coming to you from Israel on the border to Gaza. Today is the 9th of Av. It's the day of the fast in the fifth month and it is a very serious day for the Jewish people and we are calling all of you to join us in fasting and prayer for this day, standing in the gap for Israel. Uh, phase one in the, the operation uh, Protective Edge is now uh, completed. Um, more or less all the tunnels have been destroyed lead, that led into Israel from Gaza. And Israel is now at crossroads uh, how to proceed. Uh, the defense minister said yesterday that the Operation Protective Edge is not over. And uh, they also said that all options are on the table. Uh, this morning it was announced that Israel has now agreed once again to the Egyptian ceasefire proposal. And uh, this is what actually caused the ground operation three weeks ago, uh, exactly on the fast in the fourth month, when Israel uh, also then agreed to a ceasefire, but Hamas said no. Then Israel decided to uh, go ahead with the ground operation into Gaza. Uh, this time Hamas has said, has said yes. Uh, Israel says we will watch and see, but they have agreed to send now uh, an envoy to Cairo for ceasefire talks, how to uh, more permanently end this crisis. Uh, <clears throat> we need to understand that um, there was a, a spokesperson for the Israeli army who said yesterday that uh, Israel had been able if they wanted to, to take out Hamas within a week. And then it would have taken about two years to clean up here in Gaza. But he said the government never, never gave us that uh, order. So that has not been our goal during this operation, Protective Edge in the ground operation. Uh, it has been instead to concentrate on this um, danger from the tunnels leading into Israel. So we need to pray now, friends, because uh, the, the conflict is not over. Hamas has agreed to a ceasefire now, as I said, but they've also uh, encouraged everyone in the West Bank, Judea and Samaria, to uh, instead have three days of rage and terror unleashed against Israel. Yesterday there were two terror attacks in Jerusalem. One was uh, with a tractor that attacked civilians and a bus turning it over. Fortunately, no people were in the bus, but one person died on the street. Uh, another young soldier was shot in the stomach uh, close to Mount Scopus and the Hebrew University. So it's brewing in Judea and Samaria. Uh, while pr this Operation Protective Edge has been going on, uh, actually Palestinians have been killed in clashes with the police uh, almost on a daily basis. So we need to pray, friends, because Israel is now at a very difficult uh, uh, time and uh, only God can uh, now help. And we, we plead with you, stand with us this day. Let's go before the throne of grace. Let's plead for mercy. And uh, what we are, the scripture that we are encouraging all of you to pray from uh, is Joel 2, 17. Let the priests who minister before the Lord weep between the temple porch and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord. Do not make your inheritance an object of scorn, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? And then it says in the next verse, then the Lord will be jealous for his land and take pity on his people. Let's believe that uh, this will be the outcome of our prayers and our fasting today as we go before the Lord on behalf of Israel before God for his restoration to come instead of judgment. God has promised in the book of Zechariah that these days of fasting in the fourth and the fifth month will eventually be turned into uh, days of feasting and rejoicing for Israel. And it's only because of answer to prayer. So thank you for standing with us. Thank you to all of those who have decided to fast. 
with us today. Go to our website, thewatchman.org, and see the specific prayer points that we are agreeing for today. And uh, God bless you. I'm Lars Anderson with The Watchman International from Israel on the border to Gaza. Shalom.